Hey everyone, it's Jessica at Pretty Prints and Paper, and today I'm going to be talking about goal setting in the Moxie Life Planner. I have never really been super, super intense about goal setting. I've kind of just let life carry on, and then I stumble into things that I care about that seem interesting to me, and then the whole pathway kind of opens. So I did a video about this, why I don't believe in five-year plans, and I still kind of believe in that. There's so much that occurs in life that you don't know what you're going to run into and what doors will open for you. But in this season of the pandemic and being kind of at home and also in my early 30s, I was really feeling a sense of drifting and wanted to kind of take the reins on my own life and decide what would give me at least some direction but flexibility. I got the Moxie Life Planner. I took out the coil and I put it into rings because the coil was just, there was so much and I didn't want to carry all 12 months. So I'm going to show you a little bit about this planner and how I have been using it. I'm in the Facebook group for the Moxie Life Planner and there are some really amazing videos about how each of these goal setting steps works and I really enjoy the way that Sierra frames a lot of the ways that she goes about the goal setting, which really helped me. I took a whole day and I just uh, focused on getting a sense of where I was at. So the life compass questions, what I really liked about these was that there's, you know, eight different sections that they focus on, personal, fun and rec, work and learning, family and relationships, et cetera, et cetera. And it has really specific questions in each section about those areas. And I like giving that foothold so that you can be a little more thoughtful about your answers rather than just saying in general, oh yeah, health and wellness, that's fine. And I, you go in and you rate yourself from one to 10 on these areas. What I found was that there were some statements in here that really took me back and made me pause. And I highlighted those questions because I'd never thought about them before. For example, I have found peace and forgiveness where there has been pain and suffering. I would never have thought about this particular aspect of spiritual personal growth until I read that in this sentence. For financial, overall, I'm doing pretty well, but this statement really took my breath away where it says, I believe in my ability to acquire wealth. And that is absolutely an area that I really lack. And being able to identify something specific in each of these sections really helps me focus on where I can make the most difference in these areas. So I really liked that. And being able to chart that out in these rings, which I know it's similar to like the level 10 life, but then you can kind of color in the dots of where you want that ring to be at the end of the year or whatever. The only thing that I would say that it's missing, in my personal opinion, is that I think in the personal growth, I want to add some elements of anti-racism work and being able to continue my education and informing myself and being active in the community and learning more about how to use my voice in that way. So I'm going to be thinking about how that is applicable for me. And then, you know, setting some intentions. This is a really great time for me to revisit some of those things at the halfway mark and finally feeling some energy about it. I had been riding a wave and I didn't realize how long that wave was throughout the pandemic, but I was unmotivated. I had no, no real sense of direction and it was just me surviving. And I can't force that motivation to come and that may be the same thing for you where now you're ready. And whenever that is, jump on it. I did. And I'm really enjoying the momentum that's come out of it. So the intentions page is really awesome. I am sticking with my word for 2020, which is trust and mostly trust in myself, trust in my own process, my own timing, my own tuning. And now there's like the goal setting. We've all heard about like being specific about goal setting and reviewing them over and over. There is this sentence that made me laugh. It says, your circumstances, obligations, resources, and focus can change a lot over the course of the year. That has never been more true. So going from each of these things, I was able to focus on what my annual goals were. And they're a really big mix of things that are specific and measurable and things that are just a feeling. Like one of my personal goals is to continue pushing against self-judgment, catching it faster and faster so I can redirect it. That's not a measurable goal, but it definitely is going to add to my quality of life. And um, so you do that and talk about how this will improve your life. And I enjoy that kind of reflection. These bookmarks, I also love. 
and it allows me to quick flip to, okay, here's where my vision is, and here's where my monthly goals are. And what I also like is that they're a really hard plastic. You can put whatever you want on there, and I'll talk about that in a second. And I got to my vision board, and what you'll notice about my vision board is that there are a lot of, of my own photos. This is just a way for me to remind myself that these were the moments in my life that I remember feeling aliveness, feeling strong, feeling at peace, feeling most myself. I felt strong when I was regularly working out. I feel so alive when I'm teaching or speaking. When I'm singing, I'm in a band and I just, I love that uh, release of music. Being with my family, being part of bigger movements than myself. I love musicals. So a lot of these things are from my own life, except for these space inspiration photos. Those are definitely not mine, and I can only dream of achieving that. But I just wanted to anchor my, my vision in things that I already know exist within me and that can exist again if I cultivate it to be so. So that's my vision board. And um, going into each month... There's the, of course, the overview. And so on here, it's kind of like the task cards that everyone's been talking about and using these page flags to uh, identify some things that you do on a certain kind of basis, a certain routine. And for me, I'm going to be building this out to be kind of the things that I do monthly and being able to use the page flags to put that down on the month when I do them or when I plan to do them. Things like washing your sheets, things like going through my budget, things like reviewing my expenses for my business, stuff like that. I can imagine using these transparent page flags from cloth and paper and writing on them with these uni pin oil-based pens because they actually don't wash off. A lot of the pens that I was using to write on these would smear and rub off, so these are awesome because it stays. And then, of course, you revisit the annual goals and break them down into your weekly goals. And forcing myself to do this, like I know this process, right? But I wasn't ready to really engage with it until now. And now I'm realizing like, it's just easier to stay ready. And I hope that I can continue that momentum. So here's my weekly bookmark. And it's the same kind of thing with the task flags there and breaking down the daily actions that can carry into the week and track here. So I've been really enjoying this so far and I really hope to be continuing that momentum so that I can set myself a sense of direction and I really appreciate from Chelsea Fagan at The fin Financial Diet, she talks about creating a sense of control and what can you control and in this moment I am wanting to kind of take the reins on my life and set a direction. So I'm doing that with the help of the Moxie Life Planner. This is not an ad, I just really enjoy this process and it just maybe happened to be the goal setting planner that I resonated with in this moment. Um, what questions do you have? How do you goal set? Are there things that maybe I'm missing that you think would be helpful for me? Uh, what are your best strategies? Let me know down below. If you like it, subscribe, share, whatever. But overall, I just hope that you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Bye.